Welcome to Classic Game Room. Do you need another Nintendo Switch controller, but you don't want to drop the big bucks on the Pro Controller or more the Joypad things? Well, I've got just the solution from Hori. It's the Hori Pad Wired Controller. A Nintendo Switch gamepad, Nintendo Switch controller with a wire so that you can throw it at people and reel it back in. It's incredible. It's also a very nice controller. Costs less than half as much as the Pro Controller. Let's take a look at the HoriPad wired controller for your Nintendo Switch. Throw it at people and reel it back in and spin it. Here it is, the HoriPad wired controller for Nintendo Switch which gives you plenty of wire that you plug into your Switch dock with the USB plug. And it gets the job done. We've been using this for the past couple nights playing Mario Kart 8. It looks good, it feels good. It's not nearly as substantial as the Switch Pro controller, but it does cost less than half the price. It does pretty much the same thing. It doesn't have motion controls, but uh, you don't need that for everything. If you're looking for a good budget controller, and you don't mind the wire, may I suggest this. It really works perfectly well. Hori usually does a great job with their stuff, so they, they know what they're doing. From the design standpoint, it does uh, feel a bit differently than this one. It's a lot lighter than the Switch Pro controller. It's got this space back here, which is kind of weird. You can pull off the D-pad and put it there. I'll show you that in a moment. It doesn't seem to get in the way when you're holding the controller, but yeah, I'm not sure I like that. It, it's, it, they should put a fan back here or something. The thumbsticks are nice. You can click them just like the Switch Pro Controller. Buttons work perfectly well. Hori knows what they're doing. Hori makes good stuff. And you can pull the D-pad off like this. Woo! Revealing buttons if you want to use buttons instead of a D-pad for some reason. Personally, I would just leave the D-pad on there, but... They give you that option, then you can plug this in the back here and keep it out of the way. Okay. That's how that works. It says Nintendo Switch, so you don't confuse it with your Xbox controller or something. You wouldn't want to do that now, would you? Oh yeah. Back in my day, all controllers had cables. And... They never ran out of batteries. As long as your power plant or whatever was generating electricity, you could play Super Breakout with your Atari 2600 paddle controllers until the end of time. These days, all these, all these new controllers are fancy and wireless. They run out of batteries. But uh, more annoyingly, they're super ass expensive if you want another one. Like unrealistically expensive. The Nintendo Switch Pro Controller is, as of this recording, like 70 bucks. It, it's ridiculous. For half that price, for less than half of that, you can get a perfectly good controller from Hori with a wire. It, it's, it does the job. It's, it's a good controller. I like Hori. They do, they do really nice work, like I've said several times in this video. And this is Hori. It's not like some crappy aftermarket company you've never heard of. It's Hori. They, they know how to make good controllers. And this one doesn't even cost all that much. I'm not really sure why they felt the need to go with this, like, removable D-pad thing. But, you know, whatever. You just snap it back on there and you've got a D-pad. Just don't lose it. Then that would be a problem. This, this is nice. But what they really need to do... Like, all they really need to do is just make an adapter so you can plug your Sega Saturn gamepad into the Switch. That, that would just solve all of life's problems, but since that won't happen, here you go. Fit and finish is nice, the buttons work well. I've been using this to play Mario Kart 8 frequently. And the cable's not a problem, provided your dog or children don't run through it and then pull your Switch off the shelf, smashing it on the floor. So that, that is kind of the issue with controller uh, controller cables, but um, that kind of stuff can be solved with duct tape. If for some reason this thing doesn't have enough cable, you can pick up some extender cables. It's still cheaper than buying one of those ultra expensive wireless controllers. This makes a nice second or third or fourth controller in a pinch. I mean, obviously the wireless stuff has its advantages, but Again, it's, it's the price. For the price, 
for a budget price, this is a decent, in fact, this is beyond a decent controller. It's a perfectly good controller. Not as good as the Sega Saturn controller or the Sega Genesis gamepad. It's better than the N64 controller. If you don't mind spending the additional money to get the bigger, better one that does not require a wire, I'd get the Switch Pro controller. If you're on a budget, get this one. Hori Pad wired controller for Nintendo Switch. Gives you plenty of wire so you can throw it at people and reel it back in. They never use that in marketing, they should. It's a great feature. See, look at that. Can't do that with this one. You have to use the force. Classic Game Room has been brought to you by the ultra massive video game console guide. 230 pages of video games on Amazon.com, Retro Megatrex, and how to make a video game review show that doesn't suck. And Jesus number two. Welcome to the Patreon Lord Carnage Club being shouted from a turbo volcano. Michael and Ariana Nelson, Ian Shore, Stephen Chucknick, Al Stever, Rick DeBarros, Jason Goy, Andy Schleiss, Sergio Matthias Hergert, Philip Straubenmuller, Jack Stavris, Ohad Kane, Simon Allen, and Sean Zoltek.